gosh, it seems like it's been ages since I've been on here. I've really missed um, my time, you know, in my, my studio, but um, I had a really good visit with my son, so that was, that was really nice to have him over here, and um, towards the end of the trip, they, there were some changes going on at the airport, so I actually ended up with uh, three extra days with him. So it was really nice. I ended up with, um, you know, 15 days, you know, that he was able to be here. So that was great. But, uh, but yes, I've definitely missed um, you guys and being here and uh, creating. So... Let's just jump into it today. I have managed to finish off two journals. Um, I think you guys know I've been working on quite a few, uh, but I did manage to get these two done. Um, so I wanted to jump on and uh, do a quick flip through and share with you um, the, these two. So it's using uh, my porch prints, the wildflower kit again. The botan I believe it's botanical wildflower. I love this kit. Um, so these are the two I've made. I'm only going to flip through one because they are the same inside. This is Welcome to My Garden and this is Down the Garden Path. So I'll set this one to the side and we'll just carry on. <clears throat> again, um, the closure is Sorry Silk. The um, cover itself has been made from a 12 by 9 envelope and then I've um, reinforced it with muslin and covered it with beeswax so um, that's what gives it this really old worn uh, look to it. This one is, these are two signatures so these are larger than the last two that I did but um, let's just go inside um, I don't know off the top of my head how many pages, but obviously if you're list if you're interested, just um, check the listing or my shop below for the listings, and I'll have the um, exact amount of pages in there. Um, trying to think, slightly different, and there's probably not going to be quite as many elements um, in in these. I think it's more writing space. Um, I did do some collaging. Um, lots of uh, things using book pages, envelopes. Um, again, it's all uh, this This month is the focus is going to be uh, stash busting for me. Um, there's a little collage there. I just starting to feel a bit overwhelmed in my studio because I've been printing and printing and gathering and um, there's a close-up of that and it's just getting to be too much so I'm going to do a big focus this month on just getting some journals out that probably are going to be mostly writing journals um, this is an altered postcard that I've done there. This is one of the little tags from that kit. And then here, some avocado dyed paper that I've just folded over, so that just gives you a bit more um, writing space. So I finally got myself some new lights in the studio, so I'm really curious to see how this comes out, because this is the first time I've filmed with them, and I'm hoping it's not going to be too washed out. Um, if it is, I may have to do some adjusting. This is one of the, um, I gathered some wildflowers and just put it through some laminate. So that's been tucked in here. And as I said, you've got the same elements in both journals, um, just maybe not in the same order. Um, some more of this beautiful paper. Love that. Um, various little uh, journal cards from the kit. Here's some lace and coffee dyed paper. Um, this is a little flip out here. Um, it's an altered envelope that I've got a little journal card in there. And then on this, I've put one of the Tim Holtz uh, photo dies. And then some die cut. And then just filled it with various things from my stash. And this flips over, and you've got some more of the paper that I've added to that, done some stitching around. Um, just one second, guys. So 
sorry it's just a bit muggy in here today. We had really, really hot weather uh, last week and luckily it, we've had a bit of a cool down because I really felt ill last week when it, it reached I think 93 here and we don't, as I said, we don't have air conditioning. This is just a little notebook I made um, with some scrap paper and so you've got a couple little pockets there. So yeah, it was it was not nice. <clears throat> like I said, it was about three days that were absolutely miserable here. Um, old uh, book pages, just various ones. Some more um, tags. I did some collaging here with some gesso and added. Um, now these little sayings are from my porch print and they are the this is what they look like I love these um, so check um, Stephanie's shop out these are awesome for little um, garden journals because you've got all of the little sayings so I, I love to when I find these things I love to, to collect those because I don't think we have enough of those some more book page This is some more of the paper from that kit. This is some parchment paper. Just a mix. I, um, as I said, just various things I've just been working on. And um, here's this is a glassine envelope pocket, and I've done some stamping on that muslin, and just did a little, a little journal card there with some uh, die cuts. And then the center of the signature is Edith Holton, and that opens up, and I've got little die-cut butterflies there. So you can see there's plenty of space for writing. Here is a belly band I've made. This is a dimensional butterfly. I like to put those in my journals. And then oh, I'm just absolutely crazy about this kit. That's why I wanted to revisit it, because... Um, I know I'm going to be making more of them. I, it's just a design that really speaks to me. This is a um, kind of an envelope pocket that's been made out of a um, book page. Some sorry silk from my stash. And uh, quite a lot of mach machine stitching going through this. Uh, here's another little pocket there. And this is some old uh, paper. It's got a beautiful age. It's more of the avocado. So you can see it's a um, it's definitely a writer's journal. Here is a little flip out um, pocket. This has been decoupage with a napkin. I love how that's come out. And just a little tab. Um, another book page I've got in my stash and I just love adding those to the journals. I think they're just beautiful images. Um, another little page, book page, some more of this old vintage writing paper. And then this is piano paper I've made into a little pocket and a tuck spot there. Another pocket here that you can add some more things love this page. I can't recall what book that came from, but it's all little drawings of the English cottages. I think they are so pretty. It's a shame, actually, that that ended up in here, because if I would have spotted that and realized, um, I would have probably kept that for my own journal. I love that page that much. Um, and just like I said, lots of um, little book pages. There's some old uh, music sheet. Um, this is another little... Um, this was a freebie from uh, Genevieve for uh, making a tan, and I thought that really looked nice, so I added that in here. And I did some lines on the back with um, the cardboard where you ink it. And then this is the center of the signature, which is another Edith Holden book page. Some more of the little uh, butterflies. So 
so very much um, nature, garden, bit of cluster here, um, and just various things from my kit. Or my stash, sorry. i got to get used to this again. It, it feels so strange, I can't tell you. It seems as though it's been a year since I've, um, I've been in here, and I feel a little bit like I'm not too sure where, what I'm doing. But I know that in a couple of days, by next week, I'll be back into my, uh, my groove. And I do have, I want to do a couple of Create With Me's. This is another book page I really like. Um, but I've just, um, you know, trying to get everything back together in the house and that kind of stuff. I, I just haven't had time to really think through a project for Create With Me, but what I might end up needing to do is just, um, you know, getting on here and doing some elements for some up upcoming journals, so I'll see how that goes. Um, if it's not too boring for everybody, I might do a few of those. Some more, just various pages that I got, but they all, I think, work really nice with this. Beautiful. Really pretty images on those pages. And this uh, this flips out, so you've got some extra writing space there. And then this is a, another of the uh, little lace that's been sandwiched between for the um, pocket. And just, I've kept the back um, plain here so that you could always add. You can see there's lots of room for you to add your own. Um, pockets and various things for journaling so um, so yeah I'm glad to have completed those I'm like I said on my space is just getting out of hand uh, the amount of journals that I've started and I'm not completing so I'm gonna do a big push this month uh, we've got I'm trying to think of what we've got coming up uh, we'll have the five on the dime challenge coming up this month uh, so stay tuned for that and like I said I'll be back with some create with me's um, same thing on this journal like I said I've just named them different but they are the same inside so <sighs> anyways I'll just take a breath now and I will be back Hopefully in a couple of days with some more things to share with you guys. I hope everybody's having a great summer and that you're managing to stay cool because I have to say it's been uh, very hot everywhere and I, I'm hearing that it's, it's extremely hot in the U.S. as well. So do take care and uh, try to stay cool, guys. And I'll be back very soon. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Bye.